Hello and welcome to another awesome video on the official AE Racing YouTube channel. My name's Rob. My mic still. <laughs> and uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We've um, decided to check out some awesome footage. Yeah, have you seen in the, the last video, the top to tyres video that we put out, we used some of the onboard footage that Duncan gave us on, from his race. Now, one of these races didn't go as smoothly as he planned, but we got the whole race footage and we thought it was just worth worth showing everyone and we want to watch it with you and uh, let you know what we think when he's doing it. Yeah, so you can get our reaction as well. So let's uh, hit the play button and see what happens. From what we've, I've heard, it's pretty epic. So. Yeah, we've come prepared <laughs> as well. We, we thought we'd uh, get comfortable while we were watching it. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing like keeping yourself hydrated. Yeah. Presenting juice. <sighs> <laughs> right, to play. We did see some of the footage of this beginning bit where the guy behind was giving him a little bit of banter, shall we say, which we did have to cut out because it was, uh, I couldn't keep pixelating it, put it that way. <laughs> so this bit, he drives out all fine. They're all like trying to warm their tyres up, squirrelling around, which is kind of pointless because it was so wet and cold and sh** that you just sort of think, well, was it really worth it? Yeah. <laughs> Especially well, for him. Well, yeah. Well, also we should probably say that as well that uh, the GoPro was mounted on the back of the of the Superlight so we're only going to get a rear view yeah. of it yeah we only had the one shame we didn't have two because it would have been good to see see him coming up on the people as well as all the people he's overtaken yeah like Mike just said you can see them warming up their tyres which I suppose every little helps <laughs> yeah it must have made to some difference to some of them Oh, Jim's <laughs> already shit himself. Yeah, this is the point where he's That's already Duncan, snapped. I think, as well, isn't it? That's Duncan. Yeah, it's the worst thing you can hear in the Shout background. Him, yeah. He's already snapped it, yeah. It's stalled, I think, because he got up. So you've got to put your clutch down, and then instead of it going wider, he's just cut out on him. Of course. And then he's probably pressing the pedal like manic and realising that nothing's happening. And that is literally not what you want to happen just as you pull up onto the uh, yeah, the start, the start line. Yeah. <laughs> on your championship winning weekend. <laughs> After you let some lovely guy have a little go in it earlier that clearly had nothing to do with this <laughs> at all. <laughs> it was fine when I gave it back. <laughs> I like the fact that he thinks the marshals are actually going to have a look as well. Yeah, he's, he's asking for help. Yeah. If it was any other race series, then he just said, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> look at you. So don't worry about that, help me out with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know he's coming. Good yeah. man. Well, amazing, they did help, yes. Yeah, really good, they did. There, look, that needs to go in there. Oh, it's the river. We just need some pliers. You got any pliers, please? Yeah. Roll out the tool kit quick. Yeah. A pair of pliers, put the table, just out of I imagine he was pretty, uh, pretty nervous at this point. I bet he was bricking it. Thinking that he's probably not going to get this car back on or yeah. might not be able to get it back on, back on the track. I think he's had it a few times where he, he tried to, to win back-to-back -back championship. Has he, yeah. he said it eight years or something like that he's been trying? Yeah, it's been a while, I think, yeah. Yeah, and he's never managed to do it, so this was the first chance. Yeah, one year after year, right? Yeah, yeah that's it, yeah. He's won it tw two years in a row, I think, he? It shows you how long it takes for them to come back round on some of the formation that though. Yeah, well it's actually quite a big track, isn't it? Yeah. Decent track as well, lots of curves, lots of cornering and a couple of straights as well, as you know, because you went round. <laughs> Although I did a slightly different layout to the one they had here, because on the practice day, it was so bad weather that they didn't actually let us go on the 10% um, the dirt section that they've got in this. Which if you watch the Top the Tires episode that we did, you'll see a lot of footage of that. And I'm well, you see it on this as well. Yeah, you see it on here as well, yeah. <laughs> now he's really be crapping it because you can see everyone else coming back round. <laughs> you can hear him chatting in the background. I can't remember what it was. I probably, I think I'm grinding out more music. He's saying something. Yeah, they, they just like to get him out of the way. Whenever you can't do the formation lap, normally it means you've got to start from the back of the grid anyway. 
or you'd have to go and get pushed into the pits and then start from the pit lane. In this case, they just stick him on the side of the track. Yeah, wait till everyone's gone. Nope. But they had to bump start in there, he had to start it in first gear pretty much there. And then they got to push him back so that he's actually behind the start finish line. <laughs> I put about it being here on the grass, but he does actually end up with his rear wheels on just, the on the, just on the concrete, yeah. which does give him a little bit of traction for when he launches. And then the rest of it's grass anyway, but. Luckily, he still manages to get a, a it's half a, It's piece a good job these cars are kind of designed for that kind of terrain yeah, as well. That's it, yeah. Yeah, if you were starting any other race car that wasn't doing 10% dirt, and you had to then start it on some grass, you'd be sat there spinning for a while. <laughs> there we go. The noise of these things are awesome as well. And they're off! And you can actually start pretty much the same time, you just... Sort of roll forward. Tucked, yeah, it's tucked in. You had to start the engine, I suppose, because we probably would have been so far behind. By the time you got going, if you'd have wet till you're completely fast. You see how many positions he makes up there, because at the moment he's back in the pack. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> First two, four. They're still pointing at each other as well. <laughs> I'd love to see how that happens. Yeah, that's such a shame we didn't have the front facing camera at that point, because that would have been great. But it's like, that's already four positions he's gone up. I look proper savage over those bumps though. Yeah, when like, you come off that 10% off-roader section and then the back end kicks out as well. Yeah, well, you've got so the cool. tyres that are just covered in mud and crap. Yeah. It's nice. Most of them, but that was quite a bit of a cut there when they go through that bit. That's uh, a different start finish straight on that bit there. Yeah. He's having a bit of a sneaky look then. <laughs> that was a great corner for getting the back end out of that yeah. bit. And in this corner, Ooh. It was where, I didn't tell Duncan this, but where I almost stacked it when I had a go with this. So I went in way too far. This is the long tube that comes back onto a straight. Yeah, this is the bit that yeah. comes back onto that finish straight. You yeah. see that guy there, you're trying to get the power down and then the back end's constantly trying to kick out on you. <laughs> and then you're back to the first corner, which is quite a, it doesn't look that sharp there, but when you're, when you're racing it, it, it feels a lot sharper. And then that one's a real hairpin, that one's quite tight. Doing the screw and trying to get the power down. Back up that bump a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool, isn't it? There's a proper throwing about for it. But he gaps everyone pretty well out there, doesn't he? They get so much better drive out of it. Yeah, he's definitely hitting that accelerator a lot faster when he's coming out of there as well. Oh, there's yeah, another one. one on the inside. That's five positions he's gained. See him wiping his visor as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's already got covered in the crap. Mad bits. <laughs> I just love the way they go around the corners and they always get a little slow now. Yeah, the you, you, the whole time, yeah. <laughs> the whole time you're trying to get the power down, it's just wanting to <laughs> constantly step out on you and just slide. There's such a. Oh, you got a lot of curve <laughs> there, man. That properly unsettled it. It just makes you want to. That's what's so much fun about them because you're constantly just a little bit of back end. I even try to back it in there. You see the guy behind him all over the place. Yeah, that was a bit of a battle there. Yeah. That's yeah. what I like about this footage as well. Sometimes you don't really get a sense of the speed of the car, do you? But yeah. this actually well, does give you a, like that. Yeah, you see yeah. that that's fast. Well, the way he leaves that car behind him behind. Yeah. Pretty impressive. It's such a good drive out there compared to the other days. It's such a good little test at Aaron though, isn't it? You could be absolutely awesome on the, on the yeah. dry or even the, <laughs> yeah. the wet the whole the rest of crap, the but yeah. as soon as you go onto that muddy bit, it must be so much harder. Yeah, it's a shame that it gets dry out there, Yeah, it's pretty good fun. Quite a bit of losing quite a bit of traction at the back there. <laughs> I imagine he's right up at the Back of the next person already, but he's just uh, put the pass in the front. Yeah. Five his time to the pass it. Yeah, that's yeah. nothing there. That's the trouble, it's because he hasn't got the clutch still, so at the moment the time is going up and down the gears, he's just literally banging it through, not using the clutch at all. Which on a motorbike isn't as bad for the engine, on a car engine you'd be really, really struggling. <laughs> because lucky it's a question, really, isn't it? Yeah, because it's a question <laughs> box, pretty lucky, really. Normally, you would be using the clutch to downshift. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, look at these two here, look, they come out side by side. Oh, he's taken got take him inside. Inside. It looked like he was slowing down there for a bit, didn't it? It did, yeah. There was someone in that tire all there on my, uh, I stopped my session. <laughs> Backing it in, wide on that bit. You can hear him sort of just pause with the revs a slightly bit as well, like trying to feed it in to try and get as much traction as he can and yeah. stop it from spinning up too much. Yeah. Don't have to scream there, don't it? Sounds it's awesome. Yeah. That was absolutely awesome. Whoa! That was well wide there. Let the old boy back through again. He lost the back end as he's breaking, didn't he? Now it's out there every time as well, it gets such a gap from me. Although the old boy properly died one well deep there, look how much ground <laughs> and he's Whoa. messed up the exit as well. <laughs> look at a fountain of mud coming up the end. Oh. Two places, oh. <laughs> two places. <laughs> that poor guy like trying to wipe his lip. He came too fast. <laughs> Still trying, look. Can you imagine that like if you told like Lewis Hamilton halfway through his, his race, he's, here's a towel, just wipe your visor yeah. part of the way around the corner. <laughs> Formula One, they should just throw more mud sections in there. Yeah, That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be Ten percent gravel. <laughs> I don't know how long the cars were last. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Grosjean should be should... pretty good at going a bit gravel everywhere. Well, should, yeah. <laughs> we should, um, we should try that on the simulators. <laughs> Now he's got two more cars to get back past and then carry on getting past the rest. Ready to get back up into, uh, I think it was third he said he had to finish in this race to stay within chance of getting the championship. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was the other thing with these cars though. Like we saw, I think you did show it in, in one of the clips where someone's front wheel clicked someone's back wheel just as they were oh, going yeah. in. That was on the corner before you get onto the south Yeah, street, that was that there, just that corner, yeah. just past there. Someone breaks something and he yeah, just, he just goes tries to nose, his nose, his nose down the inside <laughs> of him. But amazingly, like, there was no damage to it whatsoever. They just carried on. Both carried on. If that was, if that was this or anything else, if the back wheel touches the front wheel, normally, that's game over. <laughs> that's yeah, it. you're bent something. And these are surprisingly, like, really, really strong, really tough. You can see though when we did the top to tyres filming on the on Duncan and Superline, you could see where the people have hit the back of it. Yeah. On the <laughs> on the protection yeah, tyres just poking out there. On the protection um, frame. Yeah, the old back roll there, there's a, bit, a few, yeah. few signs of uh, bumps. <laughs> oh, he really oh. Like messed up. He's so smooth in the corners though, Duncan. Yeah. The way he gets, he, he doesn't really look like he's sliding out as much as the other guys, which is uh, probably helping him out massively. Man, that looks so rough for it. <laughs> Yeah. He, he got comes, good, he he got comes good out drive there though. He comes out of there really quickly as well. Yeah, the guy going in got a good drive out of there that time. Yeah. That long corner was hard, because they've all got dirty tyres, they all look like they're constantly sideways oh. the whole way round. Massive drift there. Use the curb. Must be a puff of smoke every time he's changing gear for him as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. They'll turn the drive through there, don't they? That was more my driving style, that guy, behind. That's what I was like the whole time. <laughs> Screaming in my helmet, like... Tokyo ah! Drift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've lost what position he was in now, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because he got up... He went... He'd done five people, didn't he? And then... He did five, then, then lost went back two. two. But has he got... That's he the two be. back, I think, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's two. I think it's one, isn't it? Or maybe... Oh, no, it might be two, actually, yeah. The back one. He's still got a couple more to do, I think, to get back to third. Oh, I see him shaking around. Yeah, it's like a proper bowler guy right there, isn't it? My turn to pick that line. Cheers. Which one are you on now? I've won 
si pare ci sia. <ride> The trouble with watching all this is it just makes you want to get that going even more. I can't wait to get racing with that thing. It won't be quite as, uh, well hopefully not be quite as tail happy as these because that might not do us very well. <laughs> fun, <laughs> yeah, great fun. I've got an open, open dip though, Rob. There he is. There he is. That was the fifth car. Right? Yeah, it was, yeah. I'm going to miss the, the bonnet pattern. So what we haven't been seeing is Duncan and this guy here have been having a massive battle by those things, haven't they? Yeah. Always trying to get past them. There's a big lump halfway through up that hill. Yeah, they're like they launch them. Yeah. As well, they? yeah. <laughs> and he's getting done there. Exactly. Look at that. Absolutely. Jack and Alan. Oh, a hell of a guy that there. And another oh, one on the inside. Oh, he messed up oh. right up. That corner was surprising. Oh, wow, see how fast he went in then. <laughs> Jesus. Like, kept, that was surprising, that corner. Like, you kept approaching it a lot faster than you thought you were, and then you, as you were trying to brake to go in, it was always making the back one a sort of kick out, and then understeer forwards. Oh, right. Could you, could you hit, hit that corner a lot faster than you think? No, you were always hitting it faster than you thought you were going. <laughs> <laughs> then like, ah! At least I did, yeah. Every time you come to it, you're like, oh, crap, brake, brake, brake. <laughs> oh, I just might have thought that way, because... Duncan's so taller than me that his brake pedal was like my tiptoeing. <laughs> <laughs> I was on tiptoes as I was coming to the brake pedal. I didn't tell him all this on the day because he probably just shit himself. He was but, nervous enough yeah. as it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would I let that guy drive my car again? He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so quick out of there, isn't he? Yeah. Every time, look at the gaps that he's created. Yeah, there's a good, what? Three or four, five car legs each time he's gone through there. Really, isn't it? I mean, it's hard to tell from the back, but it looks like he's coming out the corner so smooth. Yeah. He's breaking, he's breaking a lot faster uh, later, accelerating a lot faster as well. Didn't he? Yeah, getting on the probably getting on the power maybe a bit earlier than the other guys. I think it might just be even just he's getting on it smoother. Yeah, it's been really smooth with the pedals. He's, I mean, whatever you he's think doing, being he's a, doing You well. think being a backward camera, that if he was losing the back end, it would be almost more exaggerated yeah. on the camera, like it'd be swinging round, trying to pan round. Yeah, you know, sort of your perspective would move quite a lot. Yeah. But it he just looks me. smooth, like yeah. the whole thing's really smooth. Also, the camera, and maybe this is the problem, it's maybe that's why it looks so good. It's because the camera is just smoothing it all out, because normally the vibration on like a GoPro or other types of cameras you can use, normally you'd be seeing all the vibrations and stuff, but this one is really good. Like, Quality camera. Yeah, really smoothing it all out really well. There yeah, he goes. No, what was that, seven? Six or seven? Seven. Yeah, right? I think it's got to be, seven. yeah, seventh, yeah. That might be the one that put him into third then. Yeah, it could be. Could be. I think it was 10, oh, no, no, 10 or 11 guys, I think, on the grid, uh, So it might be one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could be one. It's either this one or one more, I think. Yeah. The thing is now, though, he's getting at the, the sharp end. So getting past the guys is going to be harder. And then getting away from them is going to be harder. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tried to sneak in there. Still, like, that, I think you're going into... So they, I think they're hitting... Or they're oh, trying to go around the outside of him. No way. He's done it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I can't remember what gear. I think they're hitting fourth or fifth gear on that start finish straight by the time they hit that first corner. How many gears have you got on these? Uh, five. Five or six, I can't remember. Uh, six, I thought. What sort of speed trip are they getting down the straight? What uh, sort of speed do you reckon you're getting down the straight? I don't know, I don't know what I was getting. They're probably getting more like 100 mile an hour by the end of the straight. Got them, eh? I'd like to think I was, but... Probably found like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing by, with these, because there's no, like, um... There's no... Com I know there isn't any comfort in most race cars, but this one, you're, like, so open to all the elements, and... Like, it's just... You're just basically strapped to a roll cage of an engine. Oh, that was a bit forceful through there, wasn't it? Jesus. Check the flag. 
There you go, yeah. That was the third, third place. place. That one there. Very good race, Duncan. Very good race indeed. So he said before they've used this circuit layout and then that corner there, I'm sure he said he's taken it over 100 mile an hour because he's taken a long sweep in Yeah, way. it's like a really long one, isn't it? Yeah. Does that come back onto the first corner to the start? Finish? Yeah, you will do, yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like that, look, looks almost like a, a Master Locos there, look, in this <laughs> <side>. <laughs> Well, that could be, yeah. Uh, checking out the clutch cable. <laughs> Twenty twenty British City Polite Champion. In case you didn't know, I did that race without a clutch. <laughs> look, at the, look at the beard he's got now as well, like the dirt beard. Where he's got his goggles on. And then he's just yeah. complete dirt all the way around. That was absolutely brilliant. Well, I suppose all we can say to that is a massive congratulations to Duncan Macbeth. Yeah, well done on your championship, mate. Yeah, retaining the title. If you have if you're watching this and you've got some really cool onboard footage and you want us to react to it, let us know. Email it across. We'll watch it. We'll film it live and we'll let put it on our YouTube think. channel. Yeah. yeah. So if you enjoyed that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you soon on the next video. Cheers. Cheers for watching.